Hello everybody, welcome back to the lair, welcome back to my lovely lair dwellers and thank you for sharing part of your day with me. And if you're new here, welcome to our small corner of YouTube where we do things that scent, spiritual and spooky. And today, the long-awaited scent of the final two wax melts from Yankee Candles Last Paradise collection, where I shall be doing... A cliffside sunrise starting with exotic acai bowl firstly I just want to say a very quick if you haven't seen my empties video there's a tag up there if you want to go watch it so a little bit of an explanation about my burning schedule um, if you haven't seen it or don't want to watch it that's fine but that's why we have quite a lot of other things happening on the channel so that I'm still uploading stuff for you anyway so the first melt we're going to do today is exotic acai bowl and it's the wax melt let's crack on with the melt and see how it goes Well, I've been melting this now for about an hour, hour and a half. It's not my tea light has been a bit wayward. <laughs> so it hasn't fully melted, but it, it's melted enough. And uh, I went and had a shower and I came out and yeah, it's it's been melting away. So let's see what Yankee have to say about exotic acai bowl. Exotic fruit gathered from the, around the island, naturally sweet and blended with notes of creamy coconut with a hint of rose and jasmine. Excuse the dog snoring in the background. So top notes of cassis, coconut milk, cherry syrup, mid notes of rose petals, pink jasmine, coconut cream, Base notes of fruity green, musk and vanilla. Large, medium, small jars, tea lights, votives and wax melts. And not a hint of an acai berry. It was a fruity coconut chocolatey almost smell in the UK we I don't know if they have it in other countries we have a coconut and chocolate bar called Bounty and the coconut in it is sort of sweet and sugary and it sort of smells like you would imagine heating up a Bounty bar would be if you put raspberry or cherry sort of syrup or or coolie or something like that with it the chocolate is a very light smell it's not a very strong smell but you get that chocolatey vibe with it it's not at all unpleasant the floral is nowhere near overpowering now I do have to say my little tea light is struggling here but it has melted which means it is actually you know and, and I could smell this downstairs again as I say at the beginning no hint of an acai berry um, but what I can find out about them is they are a sort of fruity chocolatey smell sometimes some people it's not strong on the chocolate but it's, it's just this hint of it I actually quite like this I'm not sure how himself would go, would go with it but I would be I'm definitely going to keep this melt and melt it again a throw is an eight made it downstairs the scent eight I know some people like scents that have many many facets and I, I get that that's entirely their own nose I personally don't I like to have a scent that doesn't change too much the scent you like is the scent you get likability I'm going to go for an eight again to look at it you might think no oh, it's going to just be a bit fruity like the tropical fruit one well it's it's not really 
there's a different depth to it and it's slightly foody but it's it's not overly foody it doesn't make you feel like you're sitting next to an oven with something baking in it or something so i like this one top marks yankee for this one just before i burn cliffside sunrise i just wanted to show you a couple of things that are coming up in the melt schedule um you know i have a large one of these chocolate Let's see if we can get it to Yay, chocolate Easter truffles. Um, I've got a wax melt of that. Um, from cr a crumble pot, I should say, from Wax Addicts. And again, Tutti Fruity, which you also know I've got a large jar of. And finally, the 2021 Scent of the Year Discovery. I'm going to melt that as well. All of these smell absolutely lovely on cold and we shall see what they do when they melt and I'll give you a review of them. And I'm now going to move on to this one, Cliffside Sunrise, and we shall see how we get on with this. Well, I've had Cliffside Sunrise melting for about 40 minutes, I think. Let's see what Yankee have to say about this. I was hoping for great things from this. The reward for your early rising. A warm breeze carries exotic fruits and flowers as the first morning light reflects off the water. Top notes of hibiscus strawberry, dwarf citrus, mid notes of a nectarine, red geranium, base notes of nectar and praline. I really had put this aside and thought this was the, the melt that was open and I thought this was going to be amazing. I don't like this scent. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. All I can say is like a strawberry sweet smell that's slightly punctuated with nectarine and other red fruits and a bit of citrus sweetness. And the praline yeah, occasionally you get this sort of, it's very light, nutty chocolatey sort of, very light though. It's not even almost determinable. This is so good. This is such an amazing sweet scent, but it's not too sweet. It's not too in your face. It's probably not a very authentic strawberry because of the sweetness, but I really love it. I, I thought I would, and I was not disappointed. I like the exotic acai bowl. That's not bad, but wow. Yeah, this is, this is going to be a large jar purchase. It's beautiful. Now, the throw, it got downstairs, so I'm going to give it an 8. And it got down, well, maybe an 8.5, because it got down there really quick, actually. The scent, I'm going to go for an 8.75, so nearly a 9. Likeability, yeah, I, I, I really like this, so that's got to be a 9. Now, this comes in large, medium small jars, tea lights, votives and wax melts. I am so pleased I have finished the last Paradise collection and I left the two best for me till last. I wasn't sure, I certainly wasn't sure of an uh, exotic acai bowl because I couldn't smell it very well in, in the packet. I 
I'm so sorry. I could not stomach any of the first lot, really. Now, going back and thinking about it and smelling the cold wax. Yeah, they were great scents. They were popular scents, I know. Certainly, Beach Escape, I think, is probably the most popular. But these are my type of scents. I wouldn't say exotic acai bowl. I'm going to rush out and buy a big one. But Cliffside Sunrise, yes, I'm going to get a large one of these. It is so nice. I wish Yankee would make more in this vein that have not huge amounts of varying scents in the scent notes. I think it's great if somebody likes perfume, but unfortunately perfume has been getting more exotic and more mixed and multi-layered and people are trying to outdo each other with their candles. I think if you make a focused scent on a particular scent like this, the, the, the overwhelming scent of this is strawberries. And if you like strawberries, you're going to like this. The exotic acai bowl is very much a fruity coconut. You're going to like it if you like fruity coconut. Beach Escape, Bora Bora Shores, the other ones like this. They are so intertwined with varying and different scents. Sometimes it's really hard to detect exactly what you're smelling. I wish Yankee would take a leaf out of their own book. And yeah, Cliffside Sunrise is a good solid scent. And it, it's lovely. I, I, you know, when you get excited about something, I don't get excited about candles very often. As you probably know, I'm often left feeling a bit disappointed. This one, so far of the year, hands down, 10 out of 10 Yankee. Let's do a little bit more like this. Get us some fruity scents, some foodie scents, some really good scents that are authentic and true and people are going to like. Thank you for watching. I will be back with the other melts that I mentioned in this video. And if you are interested in this sort of video or what we do on this channel as a whole, click the like button, click subscribe and become part of our Lair Dwellers. Take care and I'll see you soon.